Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Gokhale. I live in the States. And the person next to me is Mr. Sahu. He's son of Kalakuru Prasad. Uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate Dalit Kimera for their outstanding contribution. Hello. Um, and I would like to appreciate uh -huh. Mr. Ravi Chandra, founder of Dalit Kimera, who has showed the way for the next generations What's how to problem? act and how to react based on the situations. Through him, I was able to explore Kalakuru Prasad and his philosophy. And uh, when I see the situations uh, when he died uh, in, in, in such a miserable conditions, I was able to trace uh, and uh, dig in details uh, with the help of uh, health camera and their videos and found the cell phone number and reached uh, Leela Kumari Garu from Guntur. And I was able to uh, sponsor his son, uh, Mr. Sahu, next to me. Is currently pursuing BSc computers in Nalanda College, Vijayawada. So once again, I appreciate Ravi, Mr. Ravichandran efforts, and who is a very intelligent, diligent, and showing a path uh, for the community. And his his contribution towards for the Dalit community is very outstanding, and I wish him all the best. And God bless his approach. Thank you so much. Okay, wish you okay. that one poet uh, who is uh, uh, a very big personality okay. at this time in okay. a very younger age and uh, putting it in the Dalit camera and the people at the other end okay. who were knowing him, who were uh, seeing these uh, things in the media and whose heart was touched and who would like to know about the families. Okay. Whether uh, they are well off or whether they need some support or what we can do okay. or how we can build up. And uh, that was uh, very exciting and uh, fascinating. Okay. And I think this sort of thing should happen. Like people who, who should react okay. seeing the issues or uh, seeing the things. And as far as my experience is uh, uh, there, we see water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. So like we feel we are in the midst of ocean, everything is water, but there is nothing to be drunk. Okay. Exact thing has happened in the life of Kalekuri, family's uh, life, that uh, his son was left alone like. Okay. Kalekuri working for the community, contributing for the literature. Maybe the family was behind and nobody, nobody could see, though many friends were there or a lot of people appreciate his work and nobody could not know about what really happened to his personal or family life. So it was possible through Dalit camera that that angle has been explored and somebody came. Okay. Uh, to extend a helping hand to Kalekuri's son and that was uh, a really, uh, I don't know how, what words could I use to explain that. No? Okay. Something like connecting the people of uh, East and West, something like mm -hmm. that. That is the tagline of Dalit camera maybe. Okay. Uh, so in future, I think what uh, today's uh, the Dalit communities are facing different problems at different levels in different angles. Okay. That should be captured and uh, uh, made known to the world so that we could find some solutions or uh, some suggestions you know, where we could discuss and solve the problems and live in harmony. Okay. So that work is actively okay. Uh, done by these younger generations who are full of strength. So far, uh, many people contributed to the community, but they came into the movement when they are around 30s, 40s and 50s. So they married or they lived some life and afterwards they put their energy into communities. But these generations, last two decades, they are jumping into the issues at the age of 20. Mm -hmm. So they are 
యూత్ ఆర్ యంగర్ జనరేషన్ దేర్ ఎవ్వనం ఈజ్ గివన్ టు ద కమ్యూనిటీ విచ్ ఈస్ సో ఎన్రిచింగ్ సోర్స్ సో దట్ వీ కెన్ బిల్డ్ అవర్ కమ్యూనిటీస్ వెరీ ఫాస్ట్ సో ద పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ రిటైర్డ్ కెన్ డూ ఓన్లీ ఫ్యూ థింగ్స్ బట్ ద పీపుల్ హూ ఆర్ ఎంట్రింగ్ జస్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దేర్ టీన్ ఏజ్ దే కెన్ డూ మచ్ జస్ట్ ఇన్ వన్ డెక్ Okay. So that is happening, I see that thing is happening. Okay. Uh, maybe from last uh, two decades and I feel really proud. Okay. And I think when I see the Dalit camera, the young generation has captured the issues and you know, focused. Okay. Uh, so lively and uh, uh, the response I have got from the other end okay. about the uh, no, youth age, young mm. age, being fair in fact. Okay. and that is what the movement needs today okay if kalekuri lived a very short life of 50 years mm. i think he, 30 years he has uh, contributed to the community community mm. so very engaged mm. but there are a few people after their uh, what i can say uh, after their career mm. maybe after 60s who are retired yeah. they want to contribute that contribution is needed but that mm. is much lesser yeah so we have these people must prepare the younger generation their sons or daughters or the people who are young to contribute their youth youthfulness to the movement i think mm. that will bring much transformation which we are expecting